Look at her. Oh, did you see that? They are like running. And that one is like escaping. I have got to get some kind of play pen. It is ridiculous. Last night they escaped from the bucket. No, no. I don't, where do you think you're going? I know. Mom is at her wit's end. Look at this one running. Just running. They're just running. Oh my gosh. Like they woke up this morning running. Good morning, by the way. Everyone say good morning. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. He's mad. He just had to have his medicine. And he always does this for a couple minutes after he has his medicine. So I don't like it. I know. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm serious. Mom is at her wit's end. She had to like go get a bear about three times because he would get like somewhere I've rearranged everything several times to see if it'll trap him. Honey, I know. I know you're mad. Come here, sweetie. I know. Here you go. Can I hold you? You're okay. Here you go, Mama. Hey. I think you just wanted Mom. But... I'm serious. But, will I put you over there, honey? It's like they woke up crazy today. Oh, just biting everything and running everywhere. Look. He ran full force. Well, I know they can't help it. They can't coordinate the running, so they'll take off running, and then they'll just, like, fall over. <laughs> what I want to know is how do mamas keep up with their babies when they're in the wild? Because, especially when you have four. What? And there's already a gap in between there from where Bear kept running into it. So I need to fix. Y'all are super sneaky. Super sneaky. And last night. Lily got out. She was the one, of course, that... Oh, what happened to your face? Why are you making that face? She's making a face. Are you alright? Lily, of course, was the one that figured out how to get out of the bucket. I mean, it would take her forever. She would, like, be scrambling at the sides. But she finally got out. And Mama was eating... And she went over there and I waited, actually, because I wanted to see if she would eat. <laughs> I wanted to see if she would eat, but she didn't. And they're, they're, they're going to be three weeks old soon. I'm not sure. I have to look again, but I'm pretty sure it's soon. And that's when you're supposed to start litter box training them, so I've got to get... I already have... <laughs> I already have some little trays and some non-clump 
the litter. <laughs> I know, I know it's not funny. Mama's yelling. Um, I already have the litter and stuff that's for kittens. I just have to rearrange some stuff. What is it? What is it? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, if you are squeamish, look away now. Because, I'm serious, it's not nice. Okay, and I've already cleaned out the stuff in the litter box. But, I have cleaned this litter box since mom started having diarrhea at least once every 24 hours. And I mean like, dumped the litter, used a bleach and water solution, and... Um, Clorox wipes on the floor. And look at that. I mean, this is just in about 24 hours. Look, see the wall? I mean, it is so bad. Look at the... I mean, it... I just feel horrible for her. And she... I mean... Look how skinny. I don't know if you can tell. Do you see? She's gotten even skinnier. Look at this. Oh, I felt so bad for her. But, she's eating. She's feeding the babies. She is uh, grooming them. She's doing everything. Uh, so, I mean, and I'm doing everything I can She's got her medicines that she's taking, which I actually think make her feel worse, but her eyes are starting to brighten back up. So hopefully, we're at the end, we're coming to the end of it, but her diarrhea is still just terrible. Now that it is clean, I thought I would tell you what I do since I have had quite a bit of experience with this. First, I always, always wear gloves. Anytime I'm dealing with a parasite or a bacteria, anything that's contagious, I wear gloves. And what I do is I scoop everything out first and throw it away. Um, I use Walmart bags, but anything that you can just throw right away. And then I bring it outside and I dump the rest of the litter in another bag. And the reason I have to do that is because I have to examine the contents to see if there's anything in it. So if you don't have to examine it, you can just throw it all away at the same time. And then I use a mixture of bleach and water. And I spray it really good and let it set for a couple minutes. And also remember every time you do this, also um, disinfect the scooper. Because it will do you no good to do the pan if you don't do the scooper. And then, after it's set for a little while, I use a brush, and I keep this brush uh, specifically outside of my shed for these kind of things. And then I do clean it after I'm done with the bleach and water mixture, but I still don't use it for anything else because, uh, I don't know. But I just get these at the dollar store, and I actually, when this process is finished, I'll throw it away and get another one. And the same thing with the litter trays. Once I'm sure that she is feeling better, then I will actually throw this whole tray and scoop away and get a new one. Just because although the bleach is supposed to be really effective, you see, you can see this. No matter how much you scrub, there's still, it just, there's still like remnants or things you can't get off. And they have been soaked in bleach and all that, so they should be sanitized, but I don't trust it. So I do throw away the scoop and the litter box once. And they're not expensive anyway. I just get the little cheap ones like this. Um, so if you have an expensive one, you know, just maybe really, really, really clean it with whatever it is you're using to disinfect. If it's not bleach, something else. But that is how I do it. Once you've cleaned the litter box and you've cleaned the area, 
And that means the floors, the baseboards, in my case, the wires. Um, then you just put in your fresh litter and you're good to go until tomorrow. <laughs> You see, she's hissing at me. Yes. What is it? What? Oh. Yeah, can I don't know. Can you hear it? What is it? Well, that's not very scary if you come out. Well, you weren't really the one hissing. But look how cute they are. I had to put this pillow on top of everything like a ledge because they were climbing over it and it really worked but now they're all tucked up in there <laughs> while mama eats while they take their nap. Is that not so precious? Yeah. You gonna hiss at me? No? Okay. And she does look sad but she's not sad she was sleeping. I accidentally woke her up.